as you can see, I got a haircut. I am so happy with the way it turned out. It feels nice and light and fresh. So excited about that. If you wanna join the party over on Instagram at E-M-W-I-L-S-S, you can follow me there. Let's get to it. So today I wanna to talk about four important questions to ask yourself before you make it official. Like defining the relationship, becoming boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever that, you know, terminology you use for that. And people might say like, gosh, you really overthink the whole dating thing. I think it's so important to date with intention. And it's so important to use our brain and our heart when we enter into dating. It's easy as women to just let our heart run wild and to enter into relationships because it's what everybody else is doing or what we feel like maybe we should be doing in our lives. It's really, really important to step back and think critically about dating because then we enter into relationships in freedom and with thought and not just willy nilly because dating Dating should be an intentional thing. Thinking about the answers to these four questions before you make it official, before a guy becomes your boyfriend, can be really, really helpful to entering into relationships with clarity and thought. So, first question, am I using him to fill some void in my life? It is no secret that people use relationships to fill some emptiness that they have in their lives, some void that they have in their heart, uh, in their life, whatever that might be. People use relationships to replace this need or this desire that they have in their life. This question really takes some reflection to say, is there something that I'm missing, I'm craving, I'm desiring in my life, and am I using this relationship or entering into this relationship to use that to fill that void in my life, whatever that might be. Perhaps that's even a void that a past relationship left, right? Like you are a woman who's used to having that relationship and then there's that void in your life of not having a relationship. Maybe when you're used to having a relationship or you were in a relationship for a very long time and now you don't have one anymore and you might be entering into a new relationship just to fill that, to replace that area of your life. It's really important to step back and look at the answer to this question. Question number two, am I starting this relationship because I am lonely? This is so important. If you are starting a relationship because you are lonely, the relationship is unhealthy from the get-go. A relationship should never be approached as a cure for loneliness because then you are entering into a relationship for what you can get out of it, whether that's companionship or intimacy, whatever that loneliness is in your life, you are entering into a relationship for what you can get out of it rather than entering in in a healthy way, uh, in a mutual giving and receiving, which is what a healthy relationship is. Maybe that's just you have loneliness in your life. Maybe it's loneliness again because you had a relationship before and you just feel like, I just want a guy in my life it's not good and it's not healthy. And looking at this question in sincerity, looking at all of these questions in sincerity and with an honest and open heart is really important. Are you entering into this relationship because you're lonely, because you want a guy to text or call or just to hang out with? Not a good idea, not a healthy thing. Number three, number I don't know what's wrong with my fingers. Number three, why do I wanna enter into this relationship? Reflecting on our reasons for things, especially in dating of why I want to enter this into this relationship helps us to date thoughtfully and it also helps us to grow in self-awareness. Self-awareness is a really important part of life and when I reflect on my motives and why I would want to enter into a relationship, it helps me to grow in self-awareness. And when we ask ourselves that question, like why do I wanna enter the, into this relationship, if the answer is well, just because, or well, I don't really know, I just want to. It's not a good enough answer for really trying to date with intention and trying to date in a healthy way as a self-aware, confident woman to, to really think about the answers to those questions and have proper motives and like substantial motives and substantial reasoning to say, yes, this is why I want to enter into this relationship, whatever that might be for you, is really, really important. It has to be beyond, well, just because, or I don't know. Question number four, am I in a mental, emotional, and spiritually healthy place to date? Woof. All of this is obviously complex and I can't unpack this question completely, but I wanted to give you some food for thought here. People who are in a healthy place in life, does that mean a perfect place? Does that mean you have no struggles, that you have it all together, that you have it all figured out? No. I didn't enter into my relationship with Daniel having no struggles and having it all figured out. But we look at whether or not we're in a healthy, 
place in life. People who are in healthy places in their lives are able to cultivate healthy relationships. People who are in unhealthy places, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, cultivate unhealthy relationships. Again, do you have to have everything figured out? No struggles whatsoever? Nope. But you have to be in a place where you're stable enough to put in the work and investment that a relationship requires. You should be in a place where you are emotionally healthy enough to manage your emotions, to enter into the proper giving and receiving that a relationship, a healthy relationship requires. And spiritually, it's important to be in a place where you are not going to be worshiping your boyfriend or making an idol out of your relationship, you should be like sound and strong enough spiritually if you're a woman of faith that you worship God, that your relationship is not everything, it's just a facet of your life that you're spiritually uh, healthy in that way. And your faith guides you in your relationship. Sometimes we, we look introspectively and we're like, I don't know if I am. And sometimes it's important to ask someone who's older than you, maybe a mentor, uh, maybe someone who guides you in your life, to ask them that question, to see what they think about where you are in your life, if you are emotionally, spiritually, uh, mentally ready for a relationship. Maybe it hasn't been long enough since your last relationship ended and that person can give you some insight and some wisdom to say, you know, I, emotionally, I think that you still need to like give yourself time to heal from that past relationship. A lot of times we can look at these things introspectively and reflect, and if you're a woman of faith, pray on these things, but sometimes it helps to have a, a person who we know and we love and trust to give us insight. And I'm not saying ask the peanut gallery, ask everyone's opinions. I'm saying go to someone or a few people that you know and you love and trust who know you and know where you're at in your life to give you insight and wisdom. We have to be honest with ourselves about these things. And sometimes the answers are like what we don't like. The answer might be, yes, I'm like, I want to enter into this relationship with a guy to cure my loneliness. And it's hard to say, then I shouldn't be entering into this relationship. And to be honest, therefore, with that guy about where you're at in your life, it's hard. Dating with intention is hard. It's easier to date willy-nilly, but then we get into ourselves into precarious situations and unhealthy situations that aren't good for our hearts and our minds and our souls. So thinking honestly about these things is really, really important so that we enter into relationships with clarity of thought, with clarity of heart and intentionality so that we're fair to ourselves, but we're also fair to the men that we date. When we date with intention and we date with a healthy mindset and, and with honesty uh, about our hearts, it bears a lot of fruits in our lives both today and in the future. And that's hard to do, but there's a lot of hard decisions that we are called to make in our lives today that bear fruit that sometimes we can't see now, but that we'll see later on. Like many other worthwhile things in life, hard to do, but so good. That's all for today. I literally just realized that I only put one earring in, so there you have it. Whatever. I will talk to you soon. Bye!